This is the latest in running and endurance headlines with Pace Per Mile News. and Lisa Knight. During a press conference at One Williams Center yesterday, the Williams Route 66 Marathon announced a $25,000 donation to the Tulsa Area United Way. The race also announced the winners of its corporate challenge, sponsored in 2013 by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oklahoma. The Division One winner was Williams Cause. The Division Two winner was WPX Energy. In Division Three, it was the YMCA of Greater Tulsa. Division Four was AAA of Oklahoma, and the Division Five winner was Miratech. The Tulsa Area United Way has received $134,000 dollars from the Route 66 marathon over the past eight years. The ninth annual event is scheduled for November 22nd and 23rd. The Cincinnati Flying Pig Marathon is adding a female-themed fall half marathon, the Queen Bee Half Marathon, to be held Saturday, October 11th of this year. The Queen Bee Half Marathon will follow a new course through Greater Cincinnati and feature a post party. Also, will feature a beautique before the event, highlighting pampering and wellness, along with a fashion show featuring leisure wear and sportswear. Participants are encouraged to dress up in their favorite costumes and be part of the fun with massages, chocolates, champagne, and an after party. The Flying Pig will also offer a four-mile run walk through downtown Cincinnati Saturday morning as part of the Queen Bee weekend. Registration is now open for both events at www.flyingpigmarathon.com. A man apparently dressed as Jesus with a large cross strapped to his back ran in the Tokyo Marathon on Sunday. The man, whose identity is unknown, completed the course barefoot. It's unclear if he's the same individual who ran in the New York City Marathon in November. There, the race website identified him as Makoto Takeuchi, a New York City-based photographer from Chiba, Japan. Runner's World has announced a new partnership for the inaugural Heartbreak Hill Half Marathon and Festival with Boston Children's Hospital. The partnership, announced last week, will emphasize the free kids' runs that kick off the race weekend on Friday, June 6th. The Runner's World Heartbreak Hill Half and Festival works alongside Boston Children's Hospital with a mission to help children develop healthy and happy lifestyles to last into adulthood. And you don't have to worry about this year's Chicago Marathon selling out if you're willing to compete for a cause. With a week left until the start of the Chicago Marathon's general registration lottery, the Marathon and a local pro charity group are encouraging runners to raise money for charity to get guaranteed entry into the race this year. Unlike years past, the Marathon will not cap the number of entries for charity runners for the October 12th race. Requirements for guaranteed charity entry vary between programs. Participants must raise $1,000 if they decide to run before April 7th. After April 14th, they are required to raise $1,500. Other runners can register in the general lottery for a non-guaranteed entry between March 5th and April 7th. That lottery opens at noon. That's a look at Pace Per Mile News for this Wednesday, February 26th. I'm Lisa Knight. Go out and make it a great day.